got these things curing now. I got to mix up more clear. I ran out. It's a little windy today, so I lost a lot with overspray. So far, they look pretty good. They look great, actually. So we definitely got to give this a few more coats to get rid of the, uh, the orange peel effect and to fill in some of the texture of the castings. So that's it guys, stay tuned. All right guys, I just moved the positioning of the calipers so I could get a better coating going straight across. All right, I gotta put my gear on, mix up the clear and get this stuff shot. This is gonna be the last and final three coats. We're gonna go check on these. So, they're done. Six coats of clear. I think they look outstanding. There's a couple of spots where the clear ran a little bit on the bottom, under here. And it's actually on the, just on the rear calipers, believe it or not. Uh, just in the bottom. So I'm not gonna touch that now. When this thing fully cures, I'll go in there with some 2000 or 1500. I'll knock it down. I'll hit it with 3,000 and I'll lightly buff it out. That's just because I'm so freaking particular on how I do things. But the finish is far superior uh, to the Ford GT350R calipers. It's a perfect color match to Race Red. The Factory R calipers are not a perfect match to Race Red. I actually pulled one out of the box and put it up against my car. It was close, but it wasn't the same. Uh, my spraying job... A lot less orange peel, much better gloss, much better coverage. I got the custom logos. I, I think this thing looks absolutely outstanding. Uh, can't wait to do another set of these, depending on what the customer request is with custom logos, colors, and all of that stuff. But let me tell you something, guys. Uh, this is not a simple DIY to do this. You really need to know what you're doing. You need to have some experience um, mixing chemicals and, and using a spray gun uh, and doing a lot of preparation. This is definitely not an easy job. Um, like I said, some of you guys could go out there and try to do this with a rattle can, but if you want to do it right and you want it to look like this, with that level of flat smoothness and gloss intensity, you got to know what you're doing, man. Uh, and like I said, I have experience, fortunately, to do this on my own, but uh, it's one of those things that you know maybe I would suggest to some of you guys if you want to tackle this to practice. Uh, buy a junkyard caliper and spend some time practicing until you get your technique down. The most important thing is you got to rack them, uh, the preparation, the materials you use, um, allowing it to flash, um, you know, making sure there's no contaminants that get into the finish. But uh, overall, hope you guys really enjoyed this multi-part video series on how to professionally paint and custom paint your Brembo brake calipers and uh, with the custom logos and everything else. So if any of you guys got questions, uh, comments, post it below. And if anybody wants this particular set of brake calipers, send me an email, autofanatic at yahoo.com. I'm gonna sell them to whoever on an exchange. On exchange means that I will charge you a core until I get your originals back. Unless you have a set that you wanna send up uh, and you have your card tied up for a couple of weeks, it's totally up to you. But uh, send me an email, we'll talk some more and uh, I'll see you guys soon.